everyone, it's Laurel here, and I just wanted to share with you a quick video showing you my craft space. I just took a trip to Ikea a few days ago, spur of the moment type uh, trip, and I purchased a few things, and I just wanted to show them to you. I share this little corner um, of my bonus room, and in my bonus room, I'll just zip over here, I have my, my guest room and whatnot. Uh, so I share this little corner of the room and um, to start with you've already seen this before but this is from Ikea this is the Expedite bookshelf and I purchased the drawers and the cabinets that can go inside of it and these little white boxes here are also from Ikea um, let me just go ahead I have labeled them this holds my embossing folders this holds all of my solid papers this is kind of my color cubby. I've got my stickles that hang up there on the Velcro. Um, so they kind of like suspend in air. And these are just these little bins I got from Michaels, but they hold some of my refills, my little finger sponge dauber things. And in the back is all of my twine and whatnot. Down here at the bottom is my cuddle bug that my son decorated with stickers that I can't get off. And then my little distressing spinning thing. This is my cubby. These are the fridge bins that Jennifer McGuire um, uses in her craft room. Uh, to store her stamps and cards so I have copied her and I do the same thing these are all my cards um, and I have them categorized to you know my needs and I put all of my finished projects in here and down here is where I hold all of my clear stamps on this side I've got the Simon Says Stamp and Hero Arts and on this side is my Lawn Fawn and in the back is my miscellaneous stamp companies I also hold all of my dies in here as well over here is all of my pattern paper, which I have a multitude of, it's ridiculous. And down here is just excess supplies, spare supplies. See, you can peek in there, it's insane. My drawer, everything is labeled with my P-Touch label maker, which I love. And all of my drawers are labeled so I know where things are. Here's where I hold all of my distress inks and a big huge shout out to Chrissy for helping me with my labels, I just love them. Um, so I hold all of my distress inks in here. Here are all my Hero Art shadow inks and then some miscellaneous inks in the back. I still have to get some drawer organizers, but here are my distress paints and stains and just some various mists and stuff. And then I've got a masking drawer. This is where I'm holding all of my masks right now. I, I will come up with a better solution for it so I can flip through it. I like this kind of thing that I can flip through. Um, but for now, this is where I'm holding all of my stencils and whatnot. Um, now here's where I put all of my rubber stamps. I don't have a lot of them. This isn't the most ideal situation because sometimes there are things in here I didn't even know I have. Um, and some things that I, I really won't use anymore that I probably should get rid of. But um, once I go through this drawer, uh, this is where I hold all of my rubber stuff. I prefer clear over rubber, but sometimes... I do get a few rubber stamps, and this is just my embellishment drawer. It's just a mess. Okay, so that's this. Um, let me show you how big the cabinets are. I mean, you really do get a, quite a bit of space in there, and each of my cabinets have little different things for storage. This is the Alex drawers on, on wheels. There are wheels down there, and I absolutely love this. I've seen this all over the place, and um, I went ahead and picked this up, and I put it together myself. Um, and I've gone ahead and labeled all of my, my drawers here. And let's see, to give you an idea of, of the space, that you get a lot of space in these drawers. This is my, um, kind of like my gelato's drawers. And for now, this works for me. I'm just, I'm still working on getting inserts. But, um, this holds all of my gelatos and things like that. And I really recommend this. This has some of my miscellaneous arts, and here's my label maker, which I love, by the way. Um, so this is a great investment. It's very sturdy and works real well. This is also from Ikea. It holds all of my colored paper, and I put it on the top because I like the shot of, shot of color that it gives you. And then these are photo frames from Ikea, and these are spice jars from Ikea. And I used to keep my buttons over here, but I thought for a shot of color, that that will look really cute. So I really like when you walk into the room, this is kind of the first thing that you see and I really like it. This is my craft desk, also from Ikea. This holds all of my supplies that I go to quite frequently and this is from Michaels and I did get it with a 40% off coupon. So I'm a little carousel thingamabob. And it holds a lot of things that I use. 
on a frequent basis. Uh, I'm also really excited about this. I saw this on the design showroom floor and I absolutely love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. So what I did, this thing right here is actually a utensil caddy. It's from Target and you can get it like in the summertime. It comes in a variety of colors and this holds all of my markers. Here's my Copics, my distress markers, and my big brush pens. This is just a little decoration. And then here's just another bin you get from the dollar section that I had and I'm just putting kind of random stuff in here. I picked this up from Target yesterday. There are two of these little desktop tray things, and I put stuff down underneath that I won't use too often, but I'll remember that they're there. And I stacked one on top of the other so you can really see the, the design and the pattern of the piece when you come in. And this is a little basket I also picked up from Target. It's available now, and it's holding all of my rhinestones and little embellishments and things like that. And almost done. This is a dining room table I got from World Market eons ago, and it was actually in my breakfast nook area of my old house. Um, so now it's in here, and this is kind of where I do all of my coloring. Focus camera. Okay. I don't remember where I got this from, but this is maybe Land of Nod or something, and it holds just some miscellaneous things that I reach for. And this is a marker storage unit, and it's going to hold... All of my Spector Noir, Noir, sorry, Spector Noir markers that I'm getting from um, Crafters Companion. I'm super, super excited about that. So it's going to hold all of those markers. I'm waiting for the order to come in any time now. And that's about it for my craft desk. Now over here is a big fat mess. I can't believe I'm going to show it to you, but this is kind of a work in progress for Lucas. Um, of course, my silhouette will sit on, on the top because there's a plug back there. I did pick this up from Ikea. It's a Helmer filing cabinet, and I do not recommend this at all. It's very, um, it's really not put together made. The drawers don't slide in and out easily, and then you can actually pull the drawer right out. So um, this is not something I would recommend for your craft space, but my son absolutely loves it. He's already labeled his his thing here. This is where he's going to put all his markers. Um so he, he's pretty excited about it. So, of course, I told him I got it for him. But uh, this is not something I would recommend for your craft space, especially if it's something that you're going to be going to often. It's just not as well made as the Alex drawers. And there's, I don't know if you can see it, but I have an awesome view for my craft room. I love it up here. So anyway, this is my space. Oh, one more thing. Over here. I picked up the little bar thing from Ikea, but these little things came from Pick Your Plum. It's this little online shop that sends you daily emails about deals. So I picked those up and I'll be storing miscellaneous things in there. I just hung them yesterday, so there's really not much in there right now. I also keep my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Fiskars trimmer over here. And this little goodie I got from Target probably eight, nine years ago. I used it for Lucas's toys when he was little. And now it's up here in my craft space. And it just holds like my punches. And I don't even want to open some of these. I only use a few of them. And the rest just holds Lucas's stuff. But anyway, so that's that. All right, so honestly, here's my craft room. Here's my craft space. It's basically a tribute to Ikea. It kind of looks like, doesn't it? Almost all my stuff is from Ikea, which is two and a half hours away from me. I'm so sad about that. Oh, I did want to show you this. I get a lot of questions about this. And I've showed it before, but I'm going to show it again. How I film my videos. And someone, gosh, it might have been Jess Larson. I, I really can't remember. She did something very similar, and she showed me a picture of hers. So I sent it to my husband, and he kind of whipped this thing up. And it cost absolutely no money because this is all scraps from the garage. And it's just a bunch of wood kind of screwed together. And I film with my iPhone 5, and before that I filmed with my iPhone 4. Um, I do not have a separate camera to film with. I edit all my videos on my Mac using iMovie. And all he did was drill out a hole. And then what I do, where's my camera? Is I just lay my phone down right on the top and then it'll film. Hi. Um, so you wanna make sure if this is something you're gonna build, you know, you wanna test out the height and the width of your desk and the camera that you're using to make sure that it focuses and it, it gets the whole space that you, you want it to pick up. But that's, this works perfectly for me, and it was free. So there you go. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye.